Police officers, they face dangerous situations like this every day, but that's not what's driving some of them to leave the force. Sarasota's police union says that five officers quit last month. Most of them took higher paying jobs. Yeah, with rising rent and rising inflation, Sarasota officers are asking for a raise. They're now in negotiations with the city for a new contract. And as Fox 13's Kimberly Quizon explains, salaries are the main sticking point. 11 years ago, Sarasota Police Detective Dominic Harris took a pledge to serve and protect his hometown. The community relies on us to keep them safe. But he and other officers say they need help from the city to continue doing their jobs. The city needs to work with us to provide the community with the first class police department they deserve. The Sarasota Police Union is in negotiations with the city for a new contract set to take effect in just over three months. But Officer Eric Irby, the union's president, says talks haven't gone smoothly. We're asking to be social workers. We're asking to be mentors for youth. We're asking to solve problems within the community, and we're doing this with less officers. The union is asking for a policy protecting them from discrimination. The city says it doesn't discriminate, and the officers are already protected under state and federal laws and local ordinances. The officers are also asking for competitive wages. Right now, starting pay for a certified officer is around $48,000. With 13 openings, Officer Urbane says it's not enough. The only way that we're going to get good qualified people is to pay them fairly. The city says officers have received increases in the last three years of negotiations and public safety is the highest priority with an investment of 10 new positions to the city's budget. But the union argues without changes, they could lose even more officers on the beat. We want to be able to keep these good people. In Sarasota, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Now the union says without new hires, officer response times may lag. The city says they'll continue to listen to union members and hopefully come to terms on a new contract soon.